man. It's Kapa Soap Radio. I got that guy, Robbie88, in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in here. How you feel, man? How you feel? I feel good, man. Movie cock corn. No, man. Look, man, I've been hearing a lot of shit on the streets. So I said, I got to get you in. And we had a mutual party. So I said, fuck it. I'm shooting the shot. I'm going to get him in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kev, nigga, I ain't scared to ask. You hear what I tell yeah, you? That's the only way you get it, it man. Most yeah. definitely. So we in here. So September 6th through the 8th, it's going down, huh? Yeah, it's going down, man. We're going to Miami. <sighs> I ain't never been to Miami, but I think I might pull up on this one. Yeah, you definitely need to pull up. Ravens versus the Dolphins, you know. Last time I went to Miami for the Dolphins game, it was hot as shit. Listen. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be hot as it's shit. It usually be in sep- it usually be in December. It's in September. It's definitely gonna be hot. Bro, it's hot. I can't do it. I just the, the nigga the heat, man. Heat don't go. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Man, heat do not mix. That's little Robbie in the background. If y'all hear him saying, "Daddy, Daddy." <laughs> Listen, man, we in here. Underrated Kev, how you feel, baby? What man, you thinking, man? Man, look, I'm feeling good. So you think I could get you in Miami? Can I get you listen, in Miami? Listen, I love Miami. I don't know what, what anybody else is doing. It's hot here. So if it's going to be hot here, I'd rather be in Miami and be hot either way. Okay, I guess. I don't... I, I mean, no, nigga. I'd rather be in the air. You'd Fuck rather that. be hot in Baltimore? Yeah, in the air, though. No, but, Fuck uh, that. but you got to go outside somewhere. You, you talking to a nigga that don't understand the concepts of day parties in the summertime. I don't get that shit. It's hot <laughs> as fuck. Think, think about that shit. So you rather go to a day party when it's cold? Yeah, pretty much. Nah, nah, nah. Nigga, nah, I'm nah, going. Nah, check nah, this out. But still, this they is, inside. We're right. there. They're inside. And a day party? Day yeah. parties are outside. Yeah, not outside. all of them. Not all of yeah, them. No, they outside. The ones you go to, the ones that Listen, we I, know about, is outside. I go and it's all. Hot as I go fuck. all over the place. Sometimes the ceiling, the roof is open. Sometimes the roof is closed. Right. They, they, y'all you go you some fancy find, shit. Y'all talking about roofs the, and shit. You can yeah. find yeah. The We talking day about the parties so. that be outside. Yeah, that's that DC shit. We talking about Baltimore shit right now. I ain't gonna hold you. I be in DC for my day parties, baby. I don't know what you talking, baby. So how how many events going on, man? We be doing on the six when we get down there. When we touch down September six, what we doing? Well, Friday, September 6th, we're going just we're going we're going to have a laid back, you know, hookah. You know what I'm saying? Laid back, little hookah spot. Okay. Saturday is when it really kicked off. We got the brunch, uncut Miami. Mm. You know, shout out to the guy Ron. And then Sunday night, got Studio 23, the official after party after the game, hosted by Brian McKinney. Ooh. That's a big name That's right definitely there. Definitely big. That's a big name. That's a big name in Baltimore. My man got the black purple, black and purple hat on. Focus camp. Listen. Shout out to my man Focus Camp 410 with them focus hats. I'm just saying, man. It's, it's about them Ravens. It's a good yeah, man. We it's just about them about Ravens, man. We're going we to go down here. We're going to get this one. We're going to celebrate. They're going to get that dub, and it's going to be crazy it's after. Yeah. That's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to go. I like it, though. I like it, though. So, so I want to start. I want to start from the beginning. How you get into promoting? Like, what made you say, I'm going to start promoting parties. I'm going to start doing my own thing. Believe it or not, it was like on a, it was like on a win. Like it was just like we were just sitting around, just thinking about what other people don't do, mm-hmm. and we're just like, oh, let's just try this. Like we we started at uh, Tony's Diner. This was back in like 2011, 2012. We started with a karaoke Monday, and just like you know, we always like it was me and my uh, my good friend, like Dovell, childhood friend, you know, on an off tour. Just sat around. We was like, yo, we're gonna do a karaoke. We're gonna do it on Monday. Got the spot Tony's down downtown, tried it, it worked, and I just really like fell in love with it. Just people, just the the feedback from the people was just like, yo, you should really like get into it. Like you should really like take it serious. And it was over. It just was over. It was just it was just from there. Like I always been like you know what I'm saying, a popular guy, like a good guy. People always always knew who I was. So it was just like. Why not? Let's yeah. Do why not? Let's, let's do it. Let me. Let, yeah. Let me. Let me use this. Like let's get so. The bag. Ain't nothing wrong with getting the bag, baby. I'm with it. I'm with always, all this shit. Always, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Always get the money. <laughs> always but, get the bag. But as you know, in Baltimore, I feel like party party promoters and promoters in general is starting to get over saturated. Or yeah. over saturated. I got you. Everywhere you look, nigga, a party promoter. Right. You like nigga, sit your ass. <laughs> right. What make you different from the next from the next guy? See, I'm just trying to provide that, you know, that luxury, elite lifestyle, you know, give my people something different. Like I want to always put myself in the customer's shoes. I don't want you to ever feel like I took, I took a dollar from you and you didn't like, you didn't like, you can't see where your dollar went. Like I want you to feel a part of it. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm not. I basically I'm not like you know what I'm saying. We all in it. You know, like people be like, oh, party promoters. All y'all want to do is make money. All y'all want to do is take our money. Like I'm like I can say like, of course you know what I'm saying, making money. All that's cool. But like I don't even look at it like. Like I gotta make this Or these people gotta come Like I don't care if it's 
two people, five people in the building. I want you to feel like you got your money worth and you so had you a great saying, time. You saying when they go to an 88 event, they going to feel appreciated. They going to feel appreciated. When they, they don't mind spending that extra dollar yeah. because they going to get that money They going to get that money I'm worth. with all the shits. I like that one, baby. Get, get a round of applause for that one. I like that one. That would make you different. Yeah. I'm with that one. That makes you different, baby. Yeah. I like, I like that. I like that too. So you know, 88 events. That's the brand. That's the brand. That's the brand. So what's what 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 else besides just you know making the people feel appreciated? What makes 88 events like the, the go-to, the go-to brand, the go-to spot, the go-to guy? What makes that? What what makes why that work? Why should I? Why should I, if I throw a cuss box silk New Year's Eve party? Why should I team up with 88 events? We're going, I mean, Ooh. first of all. <laughs> that was a I, lot. I, yeah. Yeah. Listen, that was, dropping bombs a little early, brother. That was a brother. lot. You you sure, that was a a lot but look, we're going, sure. look, it's, first of all, Cuss by Silk, you know, shout out to you, but we're going to, we're going to do it and we're going to like get the, it's always about the people would right. be like, New Year's Eve is one of the biggest holidays, so people are going to love to like come out, celebrate look good you know what i'm saying i always want to give you that red carpet feel and i ain't saying every time you come out you gotta throw on you know what i'm saying some gators and a and a mink but you know i just want you to look and feel good like yeah i'm this ain't no athlete like i can't go in here with just my sweatpants yeah, on i, got, facts, I really yeah. gotta throw something on facts, like you, you know what i'm saying out. yeah i gotta show out like every time you see my name on something i want you to know like oh yeah i gotta go put that shit on yeah, you, you know dj yeah. j rod like i'm out there with the tims and the cut short short shorts yeah, on you know to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When you do an 88 event, nigga, you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> don't even Listen, wear Tim. You got to tell your rats to stay home, yo. <laughs> you gotta tell your, I don't even. I don't, you got to tell your rats to stay home. You're not associating me with ratchets. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you're not ready to do. Okay. Live on Cuss Myself Radio. We get it. <laughs> I guess. Check this out. I got, a real, I got a real question for you. Real question. I got a real, real. When you heard your, first time you heard your name on the radio, for like sponsoring an event, what made you, how did it, how did you feel? And the reason I asked you that, because I experienced that for the first time Tuesday. And I heard my name because I'm one of the sponsors for the Cardi B concert. Uh -huh. And that was the first time I heard my name on 92Q. I ain't gonna bullshit you, I had a female moment. I sat there, <laughs> I text everybody, <laughs> nigga, I text everybody, I said, nigga, dude, what you listen to 92Q, nigga? It's like, I don't listen to the radio. Me even, nigga, I just randomly called it that day. <laughs> How did it make you feel? I mean, the first time I heard it was what? What's the day? Sunday. The first time I heard it was Friday. Mm. When I heard, you know. So you fresh? Yeah, I'm fresh. I'm fresh to the hit. Felt good. Yeah, that shit felt good. Don't worry. First thing I did, look at, look at, look. I, I looked up, seen the message, listened to it. Had to turn everything off in the house. Like, hold on, let me make sure I'm hearing this right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, baby. You got a lot coming. There's a lot more coming. You hear what I tell you? Sure. Check this out, man. We got a lot more coming up with Robbie 88. Cuss by Silk Radio. DJ J. Bro, what up, baby?